Greetings, welcome back to Random Tronic. My name is Chris and today let's take something apart. And this is the candidate for today's teardown. It's a alarm radio clock. This is a special one because it has a projection head over here. It will project time on a wall or whatever that might be. The interesting bit is the projection head has got a separate time clock. It can project a different time to the one that's displayed over here. Let's rip it apart and see how they make those clocks. It's got a sticker that says class 1 LED product. That would indicate that the projection beam is an LED rather than a laser. I've never actually heard of class 1 LED product. That doesn't mean anything. And after removing the four self-tapping screws, I think this should fall apart. It does. Inside, horribleness of just terrible components, terrible soldering and all is dirty and yeah. We have the mains coming into the transformer and the transformer provides low voltage to power up all of this. With those clocks, that's what I expected to see this one of those clock chips. Those actually derive the frequency for time base uh, of the clock for accuracy from the mains oscillation frequency. So 50 Hz or 60 Hz or the country dependent. You can't do a switch mode power supply or a battery or anything like that. It has to come from through a transformer. This has to be the power supply. This is the entire clock in this little chip based on the 50 Hz mains frequency drives the LED and sets up the alarm and everything else. So with very minimal circuitry you can build a clock using this chip. We also have a crappy speaker over here. It's plastic speaker. It's not even metal. And we've got the projection module here with four wires going into this connector. Taking it more apart. The PCB is horrible, dirty and gunky. This was in use sometime. This was given to me by a friend for purpose of ripping it apart. But as horrible as it is, I think it will be a good donor for another project. Getting the one of those chips, it's not so easy. But just for parts, it's actually cheaper to buy one of those clocks. They usually go for about five pounds. Near enough impossible to get all the parts that you'll get in here. Or the price of the finished product. Cheaper to actually buy the clock and then make your own project clock using the parts from inside. An angled PCB with switches. <laughs> this is this is the cheapness of the cheap. So the switches are composed of a PCB which has got um, the outer and the inner point and then just a metal dome placed on it and stuck with a cello tape. So if I unstick the cello tape uh, the switch comes off. I'm sure you can see. So this is as cheap as you can get. So absolutely amazing. So now you will not salvage switches from this but the display I'm sure it will be fine. Now how does it come apart? It's just glued in or not even glued in that just sits in there. That comes off and we've got some screws. Excellent. And here is the LED display which is well, heat staked onto a, a PCB. Hmm. So this is really cheap. So how does it work? Is this just a plastic shell with the LEDs underneath and like little chambers? I thought it would have been more conventional seven segment display. I guess we can remove those heat stakes and find out how it looks inside. Uh, why not? And how is this LCD, or keep calling it LCD, the display, the LED display, constructed? With just bare dies on the... Wow! Those are literally bare dies on a PCB. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. So they're not even coated in anything. I want to see this working. So I've still got everything in one piece, just apart from this thing so let's plug it in and see what happens hmm. it seems one of them is damaged I thought it was working but it appears it's not okay it uh, presents itself okay but I take it back this this is not salvageable this is junk and here is one of the LEDs really close up that's probably as close as I can get with this setup and as you can see there's a tiny bond wire and a little deposit of 
some sort of semiconductor on uh, on the round pad and it's emitting light what is interesting is this pattern that it produces on the camera I'm not sure whether that's just uh, the refresh rate of my camera or something to do with something but uh, the light on the LED seems to travel I'm not moving it uh, I assure you that uh, to naked eye the LED is just blinking but as you can see it keeps going upwards and then it's almost invisible it's like shooting light uh, towards the top of what you see and then it starts from the bottom again and it travels up uh, that's interesting I'm not sure what causes that but yeah those are the tiny little LEDs on that little junk LED display which I hoped to be a seven segment display that I could salvage but it turned out to be this junk if you wondered how on earth do they make a product like this for five pounds on a shelf this is exactly how yeah even the leds are bodged it could have been that it was me that damaged the display because look if i just oh, i've just disabled a whole bunch because there's bare bond wire on top of it and yep yeah, that's gone this chip over here is quite interesting most part of the circuitry on here is the radio the clock is just a small section at the top of the PCB because everything needed for the clock is literally inside that chip you can directly connect a LED display to it just like in here just using some proper LEDs and it will drive them and make a nice clock I guess you could solder some little SMD packages to repair something like this but um, probably the cost of LEDs would exceed the cost of getting a new clock entirely and the chip on the board is an SC8560 and here is the data sheet for it as you can see we've got the SDIP28 package in this device scrolling down there we go this is the entire schematic needed to implement a clock so we've got AC transformer common cathode LED display two transistors some switches few resistors one capacitor and that's it really simple well this is even simpler so this is clock and radio and this is just clock application when it does the clock application only it needs less parts because the sleep function is irrelevant you don't need it but as far as this this is very minimalist very very simple circuit the only issue with this is the display because yeah this is really crappy i don't like this at all maybe making our own display or something along those lines one of the future projects maybe yeah the chip is definitely worth keeping and if you decide to keep the chip keep the transformer as well because you will need that in order to power it up you can't use a switch mode power supply or an external power brick you have to use a transformer because otherwise the chip will not get the 50 hertz let's look a little bit further onto this piece of junk coils with some sponge stuffed in between the windings and then soaked in some kind of wax and yeah this um, cd2003 gp is an entire radio in this chip with just a few components around it and this little 8 pin package over here is an audio amplifier dual channel power amplifier it can work as a stereo amplifier or as a bridge to deliver a little bit more power and how much power does it have output power 0.1 of a watt on 4 ohms with 3 volts power supply this could be useful actually uh, you could make a little diagnostic tool with just a tiny speaker and a little amp like this let's take apart the projector at this moment i'm not having my hopes high on here i'm expecting just as rubbish cheapness and bodgery inside as in in the main circuit and here we have okay that looks mildly interesting okay let's press on so we've got a little tube over here little quartz uh, clock crystal yeah the tube is projecting so this is a entire independent clock in here how much voltage should i give it for it to work whether i should bother at all there must be some sort of lcd display in here doing the masking and an led okay and what we have is an lcd and a red led behind it and that's all there is to the projection let's stuff it in where it was 
and yes it shows a tiny little clock on the that's a tiny little clock on the LCD and that's all I've put this together just for a moment to show you what the projection looks like but yeah it's so faint you can't even tell there's anything there so I'm going just to kill the lights for a moment when it's really dark you can kind of tell what the time is and you can adjust the focus a little bit and by pressing multiple buttons you can adjust the minutes and hours I wonder will would this work if we stuffed a much higher power LED behind it I'm just going to suck out this chip and keep it for a future project maybe and maybe the little amp chip and that's going to be it so I hope you enjoyed looking at me taking apart this absolute piece of junk Please do subscribe for some more random electronics related stuff, but for this video that's it, not much more to talk over here, so take care.